Yo, Rolly, welcome back. So Galax reached out to me and invited me to try out their latest gaming peripherals. And since I haven't really tried out any of their product, I agreed. So in today's video, we're gonna check out the Stealth STL-03 mechanical keyboard, the Slider-01 gaming mouse, and of course, the Sonar-03 gaming headset. And to share the blessing, I'm also going to give these peripherals away to you later. So if you're interested to join the giveaway, watch the entire video as I'll ask a few questions that you need to answer down in the comments below. Going back, among these three peripherals, I think, honestly, my favorite is probably the Sonar 03 gaming headset as not only it sounds pretty good, but the microphone's quality is actually pretty good as well. With that being said, let's get into it. Alright, so let's start with the Galax Slider 01 gaming mouse. The packaging is pretty decent with some image preview, key features, and specifications around it. Inside the box, we have the Slider 01 mouse itself, a user manual, and that's about it. At first look and touch, it is quite heavy, especially in today's standard, with a weight of around 120 grams, give or take. We have a total of 8 customizable buttons, including a quick fire button that by default acts as a triple click button. This is an ergonomic mouse by the way, if you haven't noticed that already, targeted towards right-handed users, and for the most part, the shape is comfortable enough, especially if you prefer hugging the mouse using a palm grip. Your fingers and palm will never touch the surface with the shape. Unfortunately, I cannot seem to find any information about the specific sensor model for this mouse, but this one features a 7200 dpi sensor. The cable is braided with a substantial length. It also features RGB lighting, which you can customize either using some button combinations or using the slider tuner software. Speaking of the software, for an all-in-one solution, I suggest you install the Extreme Tuner Plus with gaming gear support because there are a bunch of different softwares available on the download page. Now, inside the slider tuner software, you can pretty much customize all the available 8 buttons to another function as you can see on these available options. You also have 4 available profiles here and you can also import and export profiles if necessary. We also have the macro tab and the advanced settings where you can adjust the basic mouse features such as pointer precision, scroll wheel speed, and others. Of course, we also have LED settings where you can customize the lighting effects. Now, in terms of the performance, I would have to say this is more for casual gamers, especially if you play FPS games. The weight and shape of this mouse, not to mention its cable and sensor, is something not too many players prefer right now, especially with the emergence of lightweight gaming mouse with flexible cable and reliable sensor. But to be fair, not everyone prefers lightweight gaming mouse, and if you play other games such as RPG and strategy games, then this gaming mouse should be fine. As per my experience playing Valorant, while the shape and weight aren't really my cup of tea, I was still able to play pretty decent but with a lot of effort to compensate. All in all, this gaming mouse is for those who are a fan of the brand, especially those who will consider building a cohesive system around the Galax set of peripherals and you also have to consider the price which is only around 1,234 pesos so this is definitely in the budget category and there are some better options if you're serious about competitive gaming. Moving on, let's check out the Galax Sonar 03 gaming headset. And as I pointed out earlier, this is probably my favorite among these peripherals and something that I can recommend to anyone, not only for Galax fans. Alright, so like the Slider 01, the packaging for the Sonar 03 is pretty decent with a bunch of image previews and key features around the box. Upon opening the box, we have the detachable microphone and the Galax Sonar 03 gaming headset itself. Underneath the platform, we only have the user manual with the technical specifications. So right off the bat, I like the fact that the microphone is detachable. And like I said earlier, this sounds pretty good as I'll share with you a sound test later. Another good thing about this headset is that we have a 3.5mm aux cable, which essentially makes this multi-platform compatible and something that we don't see too often on gaming headsets. At first look and touch, the Galax Sonar 03 looks like a typical gaming headset with a decent weight to it and has a substantial amount of padding all around. The build quality is pretty good as well and is extremely flexible. On the side, we have a translucent Galax logo with a lining around it that illuminates once this is plugged in. And then on this side, we have the 3.5mm port for the detachable microphone. Now flipping it on the other side, basically the same thing. In terms of the headband, it is adjustable with some notches to keep your adjustments stay in place and we also have a fair amount of padding around the headband, especially underneath it. The ear pads are also relatively soft, huge, and should cover most ear sizes. Now, as you can tell, this headset is extremely flexible, 
and I have the confidence to stretch it as far as I want without it breaking. And though you cannot lay it flat on a table, there's still a good amount of movement to cater to different head shapes. Again, the earpods are very soft and we also have a pretty decent amount of foam inside beside the driver wall. Now in terms of the microphone, you can easily snap it in like so. And it is actually foolproof with a notch to make sure you insert it in the right orientation. Here's a quick mic test for you guys. Hi guys, Marvin here from TechBeal.com and this is a microphone test for the Galax Sonar 03. Microphone test 123, 123. And I'm also going to do some sounds here on my table, my keyboard, my mouse and everything so that you can have an idea how the Galax Sonar 03 um, gaming headset sounds. And I'm also going to turn on my audio for Valorant so that you can have an idea how it sounds in-game. There you go. Alright, so let me know again in the comments below what you think about the uh, quality of the microphone for the Galax Sonar 03 gaming headset. Now, let's get back to the review. Now, aside from the good sounding microphone, this headset also features 7.1 virtual surround sound and we have an inline control here where we can adjust the volume, mute the microphone, turn off the LED illumination, and plug in the 3.5mm aux cable. This allows you to use this headset on a 3.5mm port for multi-platform compatibility like on a smartphone, tablets, consoles, and what have you. Now, when it comes to comfort, it will highly depend on your head size, but as per my experience, for the most part, this headset is fairly comfortable with a good amount of cushions, especially with the large earpods that wrap around my ears. The clamping force is just enough to have a good seal and provide decent passive sound isolation and makes everything sound fuller. Speaking of sound, the sound quality of this headset is good enough for my preference. Actually, it is very good for a gaming headset. The audio quality coming from this headset is clear, especially on mids and highs, while also providing a good amount of bass. But ultimately, what I like about the sound quality of this headset is the overall clarity with forward sounding vocals. Sound positioning for gaming is also pretty good, but I'm not totally sold on that virtual 7.1 surround sound. The Sonar Tuner software is pretty basic and doesn't offer anything special other than being able to adjust the volume levels. Overall, the Galax Sonar Zero 3 is a pretty good gaming headset and again, my favorite among the set of peripherals that we have right here. Alright guys, before we move on to the last peripherals on our lineup, like I said, for those who want to join the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel. Of course, like and share this video and comment down below one good feature of the Galax Sonar Zero 3 with a hashtag Galax. Make sure to include the hashtag Galax so that I know that you're going to or you're interested to join the giveaway. Now, let's get back to the review. Last but not the least, we have the Galax Stealth STL03 gaming keyboard. Like the previous two peripherals, the packaging for this keyboard is also pretty good with again some image preview and key features around the box. Inside the box, we have the Galax Stealth STL03 itself, nicely protected with some foam protection. We also have a user manual with easy to understand illustrations and specifications. Now, what I appreciate here is that we also have a nice and soft wrist rest that I think is made with gel that follows the shape of your palm. And lastly, we have a small accessory box that houses some replacement switches and a key switch puller. However, I find it kind of weird that the replacement switches are black while the pre-installed switches on the keyboard are blue. These are Otemu black switches which gives us an idea that this keyboard features Otemu switches and is hot swappable. Now, at first look and touch, honestly, the Galax Stealth STL03 looks like a budget mechanical keyboard to me. It features a full-size form factor with numpad, dedicated arrow keys, complete nav cluster, and function rows. Pretty standard. The top plate is made out of metal, while the bottom chassis is made out of hard plastic. Flipping it on the front side, as you can tell, it features a floating keys design, which means half of the switches are visible. And then on this side, we can see that the bottom chassis is slightly slanted, and that the keycaps profile is OEM. Now, flipping it on the back side, as you can tell, the cable is non-detachable. And turning it all over at the bottom, we have two flip-out stands, but unfortunately, it doesn't have any rubber feet. It also has this kind of weird textured pattern, so there's that. Now, the keycaps are made out of double-shot ABS plastic with printed sub-legends, and the switches on this keyboard are Otemu blue switches, which are clicky and tactile. Otemu switches are known to be found on most budget mechanical keyboards. The good thing here is that this keyboard is also hot swappable, but the drawback is it's only compatible with Otemu switches and the newer Ako switches. Now, the stabilizers on the modifiers are weird and non-standard as you can see here, 
while the stabilizers on the spacebar are standard plate mount stabilizers. Overall, in terms of sound, this keyboard is definitely loud with these clicky Otemu Blue switches. Here's a sound test for you guys. Okay, so as you may have heard, there is a squeaking sound coming from the space bar. Quite annoying to be honest. And apparently this is from the keycap itself. And uh, you will hear once I flip this around. There you go. So the squeaking sound, as you can hear, is now gone. Of course, we still have that uh, clicky uh, sound and uh, rattling from the space bar, but the squeaking sound is now gone. So I'm not sure what's the case here maybe from this uh, keycap but yeah now going back right here on the top right corner we have some LED indicators for cup stack, num lock and scroll lock we also have tons of different lighting effects and you can adjust that by using the options via the secondary functions of the nav cluster keys aside from that we also have some secondary functions on the numbers row as well as the usual shortcut keys using the function rows up top. By the way, the fonts on this keyboard, as you can tell, are the typical OEM gamery fonts. This keyboard doesn't seem to have any software as per checking on their website, and it is also not available inside the Extreme Tuner Plus software. Overall, the Galaxy Stealth STL03 is a pretty basic mechanical keyboard with an option to replace the switches with the Otemu Hotswap board. It is decent enough even for gaming, but like the Slider Zero One, I can recommend this for casual gaming and for those who are a fan of the brand and want to build around the Galax set of peripherals. Otherwise, there are other better options even in the budget category. Alright guys, so to conclude, to be honest, like I mentioned earlier, the only peripheral that I think I can easily recommend to anyone, even if you're not a fan of Galax brand, is the Galax Sonar Zero 3, as not only it sounds pretty good, but the microphone quality is actually pretty good as well. Not to mention the multi-platform compatibility, allowing you to use it on different uh, devices such as smartphones, on tablets, laptops, and what have you. Now, the Galax Slider Zero 1 gaming mouse and the Galax Stealth STL Zero 3 are both decent, especially for casual gaming, and something that I can recommend to the fan of the brand and for those who want to build a complete Galax setup. They are both decent, but honestly, I feel like there are other options, especially for competitive gaming, even on budget category. And there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Huge thanks to Galax for letting us experience their latest gaming preview for us. And like I said earlier, I'm going to give away the Slider Zero 1 gaming mouse as well as the um, Stealth STL Zero 3 mechanical keyboard. And if you want to join the giveaway, make sure to watch the entire video so that you can learn about the mechanics. Now, this giveaway is for Philippine residents only, unfortunately, because I'm the one going to uh, shoulder the shipping. Now, I'm also going to give away the Galax Sonar Zero 3, but that would be on the next video when I feature another Galax product. So subscribe if you don't want to miss out. Thank you for watching. Again, subscribe if you like this. And see you next time. Have a great day, guys. You're awesome.